guys what's up this is blaze the movie film and james roll worked very hard on his angry video gonna show in 2017 and it shows and you know what he deserves to be applauded for all his hard work which is exactly what i'm going to do in this video for the most part there are a few angry video you know episodes 2017 that i found mediocre but for the most part he did a very fucking awesome job now I would say that 2017 is the best year for the Angry Video Game Nerd Show, that in my opinion is still 2007, but let me tell you it comes very damn close. Now before I dive in, there is one thing that you should keep in mind. I haven't played any of the games that the Angry Video Game Nerd is talking about in his videos of 2017, not one. And because of that, I won't judge the videos based on how accurate the information is that he's giving about the games. But the thing about the Angry Video Gamer Show is the fact that you don't have to be a massive gamer in order to enjoy it. I'm not a big gamer myself, but I fucking love the Angry Video Gamer Show. With that all being said, let's dive in. Number 12, Sonic 6 Part 2. This episode is completely fucking pointless. Was it really necessary to make a follow-up to the Angry Video Gamer episode of Sonic 2006? No, it really fucking wasn't. All this episode does is to show more of the game. And I really didn't need to fucking see that. Look, I do not go to the Angry Video Gamer show for a full game review. I go to the Angry Video Gamer for the angry reactions, the shit references and the skits. And that's about it. I don't go to the Angry Video Gamer to see most of the game. Since to me, the Angry Video Gamer show is more about entertainment than legitimate review. And I also had the exact same problem when he remade his review of the Back to the Future game for the NES. Was it really necessary to remake that? No, it was completely pointless and unnecessary. I hope the AVGN doesn't do stuff like that again. Because it's very unneeded. Now to be fair, there are a few things I like about the follow-up video. For one thing, some of the jokes really made me laugh. But there wasn't much of jokes in that AVGN episode. It was mostly to show more of the game, which again, I didn't need to fucking see. Number 11, Treasure Master. When I said that there were no bad AVGN episodes released in 2017, I really meant it. But there were still a few mediocre ones, and this is one of them. Now the reviewing portion of this video is fine. In fact, it does exactly what a reviewer is supposed to do. It's the plot of this episode that bothers me. Basically, the Angry Video Gamer discovers that there is a contest for one of his NES games. Now, anybody with half a brain would have realized that the contest is done by now since this is a game that's 30 fucking years old. I mean, seriously, how the hell can the Angry Video Gamer even think that the contest is still going? That's literally fucking impossible. And the fact that he legitimately thought that the contest is still going is fucking stupid. I mean, seriously, what the hell is he even thinking? Now I know that the Angry Video Gamer is a character and you aren't supposed to take him seriously. But the AVGN character is supposed to be angry and over the top. But he is not supposed to be fucking stupid. My god, this bothered me so much. Number 10, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now I'm done talking about the mediocre AVGN episodes of 2017, so it's time to talk about the ones that are either good or fucking awesome. The fact that there are only two mediocre ones really goes to show that Tim Schroll's hard work paid off. Anyway, I was never interested in the Power Rangers. I have seen a few clips of the Power Rangers and reviews, but these drive me away from the show, so that show really isn't for me. With that being said, I can still enjoy the Angry Video Gamer episode even though the subject isn't my cup of tea. And the Angry Video Gamer gave very useful information about the Power Rangers. Now mind you that information didn't make me more interested, but it was an interesting piece of information nonetheless. As for the review portion, well, it was solid, nothing else to say. Number 9, Wrestling Games. Now the best part about this episode is the fucking intro. It's so fucking bare ass and so fucking kick ass. It's basically a montage of previous Angry Video Gamer episodes where he was beating the shit out of fictional characters. 
And these fights were great, so seeing them again in a montage is beyond fucking awesome. Oh, and I also love when the angry video gamer fights the SNES game by the end of the video. That is so fucking cool. As for the reviewing portion, well it is solid, there's nothing else I can say about that. Number 8, Star Wars, Masters of Terror's Kasai. Oh boy, there's a lot I could have say about this fucking episode. The first thing that I want to say is that the angry video cannot brings up a very good point when he wonders why there aren't too many fighting games that are Star Wars games. That is a good point. Now he answers his own question later on in the same fucking video. And he is also absolutely right that it makes no sense that everybody has guns and stuff like that in a fucking fighting game. Now what other praises can I give this episode? Oh yes, that joke about the George Lucas game was funny as all hell. And the best part about this episode is the reviewing portion. That is beyond fucking awesome. Oh, and there are many great jokes thrown in there as well. This episode is beyond fucking awesome and I love every second of it. Number 7, Robocop. What I fucking love about this episode the most is the fact that the angry video game nerd is apparently a fucking robot in this episode. That is neat and very creative and save the world from shitty games. I fucking love that as well. But aside from that, there isn't a lot I can say about this episode. But it's still enjoyable as all hell and that's the reason why it's so high up on this list. Oh, and I also agree that the first Robocop movie is fucking awesome. Number 6, Lightspan Adventures. Now with most of these episodes, the reviewing portion is not the best part. But this is an episode where it absolutely fucking is. Now before I talk about that, I am going to talk about other things that I liked about this episode as well. First off, it was great to see the angry video game or the Christmas theme again. I really missed that. And seeing Santa Claus appear by the beginning of the episode is also fun. But now it's time to talk about the reviewing portion. Now the games that the Angry Video Community was reviewing were educational games. Now it's not an easy task to review games like that and keep the review entertaining. Because educational games sounds fucking boring and they are most of the times. But the Angry Video Community managed to not just make it entertaining but hell of a lot of fun to watch. Yeah the review portion of this video is fucking awesome and the best part hands down. I don't know how the hell he accomplished that, but he did it with this episode that I couldn't be prouder. Number 5, Paul appears. Now this is an angry video game nerd episode that has no reviewing portion. Because he never actually plays the fucking game. But he still managed to make a Halloween themed episode that is scary as all hell. In fact, this is the scariest Halloween episode of the angry video game nerd show. Now I wouldn't say that the rest of them are scary. They are more funny than they are scary. But this episode is legitimately scary. What makes it so scary? Well it's the fact that a bunch of crazy shit is happening to the angry video camera episode at the arcade. The abundant arcade. Yeah the arcade really is abundant. Since nobody fucking uses arcades anymore. Oh and then the Angry Video Kinnert also gives a lot of useful information about the game. But he never, not once in the entire fucking episode, actually plays it. Well he does, but we don't get to see the fucking footage. Again I must say that this is legitimately the only scary Halloween Angry Video Kinnert episode. The rest might have horror icons, but the episodes are still more funny than they are scary. So well done! Number 4, Planet of the Apes. Now the reviewing portion of this episode is so lit. And the Apes generally doesn't bring anything new to the table when it comes to complaints about the game. With that being said, the one thing that makes this episode so fucking awesome are the skits. Basically the angry video game nerd wants to get rid of a lot of his games. But he doesn't just want to destroy them, he doesn't just want to throw them away, he wants to do something more. So you know what he does? He sends them to outer fucking space. But unfortunately he gets stranded on a planet. And on that planet he is forced to play a shitty game. Yeah the angry video game artist is forced to play a shitty game a lot. This is really nothing new. But the events leading up to that are new. The fact that he has to play a game on another planet is fucking awesome. 
I absolutely fucking love it. And who would have known there was a fucking TV on that same planet? Damn, that sure was unexpected. This is yet another proof that just because he has run out of things to say about video games, the angry video gonna show still remains for us with new ideas for skits. Number 3, Charlie Angels. Now the review and portion of this video is not solid. It's fucking awesome. Because the angry video nerd really convinced me that this really is a bad fucking game. I don't even need to fucking play it. And it really is messed up how much the game focuses on someone's ears. Now the angry video nerd has many enemies. Bugs Bunny, Freddy Krueger, The Joker. But when was the last time that the angry video nerd had an enemy that's a living inanimate object? That's right, the radio is fucking talking. And that radio is an annoying cunt for sure. I absolutely fucking loved it when the angry video nerd beat the shit out of that fucking radio. That radio heard it coming. Especially when he said, you are a piece of shit. That was just completely uncalled for. Now if I were to make a video with the best angry video you cannot fight, this fight would be high up on that list for sure. Number 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Now this is an episode that focuses heavily on skits. Which is a good thing because the skits are very fucking funny. I was laughing throughout the episode. Now like I said by the beginning of the episode, I haven't played any of the games that the angry video cannot was reviewing that year. And this game in particular is no exception, so I can't tell you if what he is saying about the game is accurate or not. But you know who can tell you that? Chad Silver 11. That's right, my biggest inspiration for commentaries. Now he is a good friend of mine and I asked him for his opinion on this particular Rank Video Gunners episode. And you know what he said? He said that it's one of the best ones. Best videos of Sonic 06, I mean. And the fact that Seattle's 2011, which is a massive gamer, fucking loves the episode, really shows that it belongs on this list. Now he admitted that the angry video cannot got some things wrong, but for the most part, he did a solid job reviewing the game. Not only is this the second best angry video cannot episode of 2017, this is one of the absolute best, period. I fucking love every second of this episode. I have watched it trillions of times already and intend on watching it trillions more times. Number 1. Game Boy Accessories So I already made a full commentary explaining why this angry video game of the episode is so fucking awesome and gonna be extremely brief here. If you want my full opinion, a link to the commentary is in the video description below. Basically, this episode is extremely informative and one of the best for sure. You have reached the end of the video. To be honest, I won't be disappointed if there won't be as many as VGN episodes in 2018. That's totally understandable. James Rolf worked extremely hard on the angry video game episodes of 2017, so it makes sense if he needs a break. Well, guys, you reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.